Hello, everyone. In this video, we'll look at how date information and date limits are used in Dialog. For example, you may want to limit your search results to records published within a certain time frame. There are several kinds of dates that are indexed in Dialog records, and each one might play an important part for your particular purposes. So let's get started. The publication date, or PD for searching, is when an article first appeared in the original source, like the publication date of a scholarly journal or a newspaper. Or for a patent record, it's the date when the patent was first granted or an application was first published by the patenting authority. Dialog has some databases with records that are very old, including many from the 1800s or even centuries earlier. And those historical records may be of interest to you, but in many cases, you may only want to see more recently published records. And you can do that easily as part of your search, in Advanced Search, using the drop-down boxes in the lower part of the search screen. Or you can run your search initially to get all results, and then apply a date limit afterward from your results list. One way is to use the sliders here on the right side of your results. Notice that you can first use the slider to set a somewhat broad range, like a group of years, click Update, and then reset the sliders to narrow it down further through multiple iterations, like this. Or you can click here on Show a Specific Date Range and enter a date or a range of dates using the format that is displayed conveniently for you right above the box. Another option is to apply a date limit using a command by entering it in the search box using any of these search formats. You can decide to search on a whole year, or a month and year, or limit to a specific date or to a certain range. You can use the greater than or the less than symbols to get material published before or after a given date or year. Or you can select a range by placing a hyphen in between two dates or years. You can review these options in the Pro Sheet for a database if you need them. Something you may find about publication dates in more recent records is that sometimes the initial publication occurred on the Internet and was provided to the database before the printed version of a journal came out. And in those situations, you may note some seeming anomalies, like where the database record was created before the publication date. But once you know how this happens, the record will make sense when you see it. Another tip about publication date limits is that if you're running a multi-step search, you probably don't want to apply a date limit to each individual line, unless you actually need to know the date-limited numbers for each search statement. The best practice for efficient processing is to wait until you've constructed your whole strategy and then apply the date limit once at the end. In addition to the date of an article's original publication, other dates in Dialog include the date of a record's creation and the date when it was first available on Dialog, and in some cases, when the record was updated afterward. So let's take a look at those. The date of creation is the date when the record was first created by the information provider that makes the database. The search field for date of creation is DCRE, and if you want to limit your results by creation date, the search very much follows the same formats as we saw for publication date. Another date indexed in each Dialog record is when it first became available on Dialog. Generally, this happens very quickly after each new update or batch of records is sent to Dialog by the database provider. So usually the DCRE and the first available date are very close together. But there are some situations where our customer really needs to know very specifically what is the earliest date when someone could have obtained this information by searching on Dialog? And that is the date found in the first available field of a record using the field code FAV. 
Bear in mind, the FAV date refers to availability on the current Dialog platform. The legacy Dialog product actually began in the 1960s, in the early days of the space program. But the modern, more user-friendly Dialog platform was developed by ProQuest more recently. So even if the equivalent record appeared in previous versions of Dialog long ago, you won't find any FAV dates in Dialog earlier than 2010. Still, our customers often find this information helpful going forward. One important use of both the date of creation and the first available search is to include them at the end of your strategy when creating an alert. This is discussed in other videos about alerts, but in short, an alert is an automatic search you can set up to send you new results on your search strategy by email every week or month or every day if you choose. And by default, each run of the alert will look back about 60 to 90 days. But in case the database adds records or updates records, there are actually old articles that you wouldn't want in an alert. We recommend that you set your alert to retrieve only records that were either first created or first added to the database within one year before you are setting up the alert by adding a DCRE FAV limit to your strategy. So, if you're creating an alert on February 4th, 2021, then you should end your strategy with your set number, followed by and DCRE, comma, FAV, open parentheses, followed by the greater than symbol, 2020-0204, close parentheses using the date that is one year before you're creating your alert. Also, in some databases, the information provider may update the record periodically. A patent record may be updated each time a new legal status change is reported, or a new patent is added to the patent family. Or in a non-patent database, the information provider may add information or make some change, such as a different way of abbreviating the name of a journal. When that occurs, the date of each change is shown in the record in the Update or UD field. So that's it on the kinds of date information most often used across Dialog. There are some others specific to certain databases. For example, Medline may include the additional fields of Date Completed and Date Revised. And for that kind of supplemental information, you can always find a description in the ProSheet for the database as shown here. So to sum up and to bring all of these dates together, here's an example from Medline. This article was first published in the Journal of Human Kinetics on December 31st, 2018, the publication date. This Medline record was created by the National Library of Medicine on January 29, 2019, the date of creation. It was uploaded to Dialog and available on Dialog that same day, January 29, 2019, so that is the first available date. This is also indexed in the Updates field as the first update. More information was added the next day, January 30th. The information supplier revised the record on September 28, 2020, and that revision was updated to Dialog the next day on September 29, 2020, which is the most recent update. Using these dates, you can trace the chronology of all these events by reading any record on Dialog. If you'd like more information, here are some links to additional resources. And if you have any questions or would like some help, please feel free to call the help desk at these numbers or email us at customer at Thanks for using Dialog and enjoy the rest of your day.